Coming to you live from beautiful British Columbia, this is Vancouver Island, 456 kilometers long and every square centimeter of it. Paradise, a perfect night to begin the Canadian Premier League playoffs with the first in league history, a 4v5 match to get this five match sprint to the North Star Cup underway. This is the Trident's team tonight, Pacific in their 4-3-3. James Merriman makes two changes to his starting 11, reinserting the captain, Josh Hurd, to the right side of their attacking trio. Georges Mukumbiwa draws back in at left back. Martin Ash said it quite succinctly, I don't think anybody wants to play us because they have been so good away from home. Coming into this match with two wins on the bounce, though there is a fair bit of rotation from their last match, a 2-1 win also in British Columbia to Vancouver. In fact, there is four changes for the nine strikes. That is a long, long day for whomever is likely making that travel tomorrow. Running through is Martin Peru. Di Rosario hands it up. Bayer returns. Here's Di Rosario. Yeah. Comes back to clear off the goal line. Mukumbiwa hangs it up high, Dinesh towards Bayer's again! But the offside flag is going to spark the party at Starlight. Jimmy, we talked about the importance of set pieces. Giant Sopolis, I think, is exhaling because that was just about perfection. Headed down Babuli, Baya drifting right. Ferrari comes to. Young buys a bit of territory. Sumaro has a go. Thought he could fool Emil Gazdoff. Of course, he is likely to be nominated for goal this season for his stoppage time magic. Gazdoff was quite a way out of his goal. I'm sure Di Rosario would have considered the chip if he could have won that down cleanly. Santos, Sumaro, Brem Sumaro. He'll go again off the crossbar. My goodness, is he dialing it in? What a strike that was. And now you have a angry mobile bully. He's kind of like the Hulk. It's fitting that he plays for the team in green and blue. Well, Abram Sumaro has been calibrating as well. Be shocked if neither go for goal. Three percent of players in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. And into the top middle. We would have loved nothing more, and the tongue is out as well. And you can see the gash that Young left on Babuli's neck, actually. Heard tries to clear, goes off the chest of Babuli. Stefan Yates as the ball plays pinball without escaping the Pacific half. Here is Kevin Santos. That eighth shot from the nine stripes. And a fifth that is just off of frame. They're not lacking for confidence, are they, Jim? Did it jump the middle. Locates Yates. Goes one more. It's Manny Aparicio with options. Aparicio tries to go just on the crossbar. It takes the palm of Giant Sapples. The first shot on target from the Trident. And it was a good one for the former York man. Relocates Mobile Bully. Defended by Ben Salufin Yates to dribble away. Now Aparicio has her to his left. Angaro running towards the middle. He picks the skipper. Yates stays as a trailer. Josh Hurd in the box. Giant Sapples gets just enough. Not fully convinced that was on frame. Now needs to contend with yet another Pacific corner. And then Salofa in the box. It's off the post. It's not in. Somehow that ball stayed out. Pacific convinced. Everyone looking at the assistant referee. Thinks he scored. This might be the last Dursky score call here. We told you earlier two game winning goals against the Nine Stripes this season in just three appearances. Angaro gets a little flick. There goes Josh Hurd. The skipper into the box and turns first. But sends it into the seats. And then Solis. He's kept wrapped into Babuli. Babuli with options and an opening. Babuli, Gazdorf just bailed out Iman Salouf and the large 
strangest possible way. This time it's Pacific Stern turning it over. Osaze Di Rosario running at Didich. Decision time. Diro tries to bend it. Here comes Sean Young. Makes the pass for Mane. Angaro heads into the box. Saparizio on the overline. Here's a great looking cross out of Azure Reed at the doorstep.